Hi guys, I've been playing the crap out of this Dyson Sphere program since it came out and I'm absolutely loving the game, been doing a lot of testing on it and I think I'm in a position to help people who are having problems with some of the elements of the game. Now one of those things that I see on the Steam discussions is how to not end up in Spaghetti City basically. I have nice neat lines for logistics system. So I wanted to start from scratch and show the way that I think it works really well for me and it's been making my life a lot easier. So we're going to start from scratch, we're going to get producing things very quickly and then from there we will go on to a larger scale logistics system that is quite nicely organised and then from there we'll go into something that's more end game orientated where it's like mass, mass production. Right, so let's go ahead and start a new game. Right, so we started off here. Now I, what I'm going to do is to prevent that tutorial talking over the top of me constantly, I'm going to build things and then show you what I've built rather than trying to build them and have the tutorial interrupt. The first thing I'm going to do is I will harvest this and get myself some energy and let's set our first research. So I'm going to go for this electromagnetism um, and then we're going to want our automatic no, smelting. Uh, we're going to want our logistics system. Then we're going to want assembling and finally we're going to want that. Now actually that will be fine. Um, let's get rid of that one because the first thing we're going to want is our core here and then we're going to want to do our research. So basically I'm doing power, then smelting, then conveyors, then assembling, get my mecha core up and then we'll get on to the research. That, that's the kind of the end goal of this video is to get there quite quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest this and I can do this research by creating things in my inventory. I'm just going to go ahead and get that done and get a few buildings built to get started. Right, okay, so that was my last bit of research that I can do. It doesn't require the matrix cubes. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is pick up these things. I just threw these out um, to start off and get myself some resources quickly. Now I need to look at where I'm going to build our first sort of mass production. And I think, if we press N here, let's have a look. We want somewhere that's got quite a lot of area um, that sort of runs east to west. Going up and down kind of tends to cause problems. Um, so it looks like up there would be a good place to start. So I'm going to go and pick all this up and go up there. Right, so if you wonder why I said uh, kind of want to go east to west is because if we have a look here, if I press B, you'll see here that these are all lined up nicely. So as long as I go along one of these lines, they will be lined up but if I try to go up and down you'll see that if I try to follow this line down then it would cut in here and up there it would cut in there. Ideally it would be better to build it somewhere on the equator but I'm not seeing anywhere to start off with that has coal so it has uh, copper and iron near the equator so we can always go and build there later on. Let's just get our basic set up here. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get our iron being produced and start producing, or our iron ore produced, and start producing ourselves some iron ingots. There we go, that's our miners set up there. So we've got two miners going there, just one feeding for the moment is going to come out here. And then once I start putting things along here, if the ore doesn't travel down there, I can feed out from there and put it in where it stops travelling. So I've got this one connected up here, we're just going to connect those out to this line here. And I had, like I said, I have built myself a few things. If you're wondering how I'm doing this so quickly, um, like just putting things down, I have actually built myself quite a few of these bits to start off with. So now we're going to need some power. Um, so let's just, we're not going to be really using any space over here. So let's just go and put out solar, not solar, our wind stuff over here. That should give us a bit, fair bit of power to start off with. Right, we'll just power up these here and we'll power these here. And we'll start producing ourselves some um, iron ingots. Once I actually set it to iron ingots. Right, and just do copy and paste and paste. And now what I want to do is also put a buffer storage right there. And I'm going to set like down there. It just means that if I have like too much iron on me or something, because I've got a small inventory at the moment, I can throw it in because it will only fill up up to 25. And I'll put those in and that will then go back into the system. So let's just go ahead and take some out of there. We'll take one in and two going out. I should probably move that power station or that power supply to there. There we go. Okay, so now we are ready to start doing our first production. 
To save ourselves a little bit of time though, what we're going to do is just, just do two assemblers to start off with because we'll be able to make ourselves um, some conveyors very quickly. So we've got a conveyor production and we're going to want this here. We're going to want, want cogs there and we're going to want uh, this setting on conveyors because all this needs is cogs and iron. So we'll go ahead and we will grab another power here for the second. And we'll connect these up. Okay, we've got iron going both into those. And then we're going to take our cogs out the back and feed into our conveyor. There we go. And just so we've got a, a nice little stockpile of them building up, I'm just going to put another storage there. And I'm going to put an output there. And I'm just going to set this down to two. We only really want two stacks of this. Right, okay, so now we are producing conveyors automatically. That will make our life a hell of a lot easier. Next thing we need to do is we're going to need a um, copper supply. Now we could go over there. In fact, I think I will do that. Or we could start up there. Probably easier to go over there. Now you'll notice that what I've done in the middle here is I've left a gap because we're going to bring the copper down into the middle. Because the next two productions that we need, need something that is produced from iron ore. So we can have that coming out and going this way. We're going to want our copper down the middle. But to make these circuits, we also want the iron. So this way the iron can supply everything. We can extend this way and get more. Um, and we can go extend that way to get our magnets is what we need to build. Let me go ahead and throw out a mining machine over here. Now what we're going to want is our copper coming down the middle here. So what we can do is we can raise that up. So we get, we'll, just, we'll just bring it in over the top here and down the middle. It will look quite nice. So we're going to raise this up by one just by pressing up on the keypad uh, or on the keyboard. Literally the up arrow, as you see, takes it up by one. And we'll go across, go to there. Bring it down one or we can press zero and bring it to there and that's where our line will come in down here and then we'll bring this line along oh that's gonna get stuck on stuff that's fine just take it around that uh, get it lined up and we should if we have the items just be able to go Click on that and it will link up. There we go. In fact, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to take this up here. Just because we might want to do a line underneath here and we might want to bring more iron into the back of there as well. Right, that's our copper going in there. What we're going to do here is I'm just going to extend that out because I know that I'm going to want... A, we'll go for three of them to start off with. And then we'll just go ahead and build our conveyor production there and we'll put our storage. Pop it out by two. There we go. And we just extend that out. So we're not going to have to touch that now again once we do this. There we go. So I've just connected that one up straight into the container. So we've got it coming out of the gears into there. Let's give all of these a connection into here. So we just want iron going into all of these. And we just need to give it a bit of power. So that power there. And we just set that up again. There we go. Right, that is the first bit ready to go. Next thing we need to do is our circuits. And with circuits, we can make our sorters, which will obviously make it even easier for us to build things. So I've gone ahead and built a few more of these assemblers and we're going to go with four of these for circuits and one of them for the sort. Actually, no, we can go for three. Let's, let's keep it the same number all the way around. So we'll go for three here. So here's going to be our sorter and these are going to be our circuits. And then we just extend our lines down. So as you can see, I've just done it exactly the same I did over there. Um, we've got three assemblers producing our circuits and they're going to feed off the back and into our sorter production here so don't need that one there now our sorter wants iron and the circuits that are coming off of here and these want the copper and the iron 
And there we go, as you see, we've got the iron and copper going into our circuits and our circuits and the iron going into there. And we'll just output that into there. And we'll set that once again down to only two. Okay, sweet. Right, we're automatically producing both conveyors and sorters. That is going to be lovely. And now the last thing we need to really get going on a future production is we're going to want magnetic coils. And for them, we need magnets which come off of the iron ore. So let's go ahead and set those up. So there you go, you can see that I've now set up our magnet production and I added another one of these onto here, another one of our iron ingots. And this one here was starting to struggle and no iron was getting past there. So I've set up a line coming out of that second mining machine. There we go. And it's getting to at least, it'll get to at least two, maybe three of those. Final thing is to do our magnetic coil production. now. Because I want to go back this way, I'm going to take everything along, I'm going to go up and um, I will do my magnetic coil production a little bit further along here. As you see, there's not enough space here, so I'm just going to bump everything up a little bit. And that's the good thing about doing it with these lines, is it's not going to be difficult for me to do that. So this line here is going to need to bump up enough for me to put some assemblers so that'd be enough space there so we'll take that along like that and we'll take our copper line along like that we'll take our iron line up like that and then while we're at it we can have our circuits and we can go and grab our gears Right, that's our lines done. Now let's just set up our magnetic coil production. So we'll have one there, one there, one there. Probably won't be able to sneak that in the middle, but we can, yeah, we'll just put it just behind like that. And we'll set these up for magnetic coils. There we go. And let's just do our input. So we're going to want our, we're going to want our, magnets going in and we're going to want our copper going in and we can take a line out the back right guys so i actually got that done uh five minutes ago but i decided to go and make myself a cup of coffee so um as you can see i just threw out me magnetic coils there um and they're done took a line out the back and we now have six lines coming out we've got our cogs we've got our circuits we've got our iron we've got our uh, copper <laughs> we've got our magnets and we've got our magnetic coils i just took off the circuits and the magnetic coils and ran them into here so this would now be automatic research at this point you have the ability to make any of the basic machines that you would need to expand out further and that's what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to start setting up automatic production for machines and we're going to run these in a way where we have three lines running one on top of each other and we can just pull them off wherever we need them but i hope this was a good video to give you an idea how you can start off organized not end up sort of spaghetti and not get confused you'll it'll be very easy in the next video for you to go okay we to produce this we need this well just pull that line off rather than going oh where's that coming from how am i going to get it there etc so I hope you found this useful. Hope you're having fun with the game. Catch you all next time.